about good neighborhoods as you know I'm specializing in new community or new construction so I have like five different new community which is a new construction once you see that new community and I'm sure you will like it as my client does when I What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today I'm gonna tackle or I'm gonna talk about five signs how to find a good neighborhood here in Florida. Alright, so if you are looking or you are about to move here in Florida and you don't know where to find a good neighborhood, make sure you watch this video from this start until the end because at the end I'm gonna give you a good bonus one which neighborhood that I will recommend since this is what I do. I'm a realtor. I know which is the good and bad neighborhoods here in particular area here in Central Florida so make sure to watch this video from this start until the end but before I start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and also smash that like button for me and share this video if you found this value useful and helpful to all your social media accounts and I would highly appreciate that one without further ado let's jump into it so number one sign how to find a good neighborhood is well maintained maintained homes so what do you mean like well maintained homes RJ so once you go into a neighborhood or once you visit into a particular neighborhood you will see a lot of houses right so these houses make sure that they are well maintained so it means like they are clean you know if you see the houses if they are being well maintained you know their landscaping is well maintained their grass in the front is well maintained you know it's clean that's a good sign for you that this neighborhood is good all right remember that one so we go to sign number two sign number two if you go to the neighborhood and if you go to the surrounding not just the houses if you go to the streets they have like different streets and then their landscaping their grass are well maintained too they are clean they don't have like a very long grass which is like some weeds all over the place you know if you see some overgrown grasses or weeds that's a bad sign or a red flag for you that means like that neighborhood is not well maintained so it means like well I hate to say it, but that neighborhood is a no-no for me because you know if a good neighborhood and also if you have like a well maintained neighborhood which is I'm gonna go to talk about number three the HOA will maintain that neighborhood all right so it means if you you are looking particular a good neighborhood you will have a HOA which is my sign number three so it means like if you are paying the HOA in that particular neighborhood the job of the HOA is to clean maintain and make sure that the neighborhood is livable the people who live there will enjoy and they will feel like they are safe hold on it's a bit itchy here they are safe and also they will feel like this is a good neighborhood for us if you know what I'm trying to say because if you are paying HOA and the HOA do nothing about your neighborhood it means like it's not a good neighborhood for you okay another thing or a bonus here if this neighborhood has HOA and they had a gated community that's a good sign as well so it means like once you come to the or visit to one of the neighborhood and they are gated community that's a good sign because you know obviously not every person who could go inside the community if they have like gated community most of them have like a security who's checking in and checking out inside the community so it means like they are particularly looking after or look after that community because like they don't want any strangers or any solicitor who just come in and out in that community I hope that makes sense so remember that three signs so let's go to my sign number four so sign number four when you go to this one community and you see the kids are playing around and a lot of people who's walking outside or some exercising in the morning jogging walking you know it's a good sign that community is really good so think about this if that community has no kids and no one's walking around for me it means like something's going on there right especially here in Florida you will go outside because it's always warm here you know most of the time so you will think like oh okay 
as a lot of houses here why no one's walking around you know in the community or some kids playing outside so it means like there's something's going on in that community so if you see some kids playing around and some people who's exercising and also if you see there's a playground as well in that community so it means that that community is really well maintained or well maintained and it's also is a good community because you see people socializing and sometimes they have like some events in that community sometimes they do have like some market event or different kind of event in their HOA or in their clubhouse you know if you see some event on that community it means like that's a good sign as well if it's a good community or not okay so remember that one that's my number four sign if that community is good or not so last but not the least my five signs if the community is good or not okay so let's go to the last one which is my fifth sign how to find a good neighborhood this last sign is my one of my favorite is just because if you find this community has a distance to amenities and if it has a school inside the community so what do you mean by that RJ here in Florida we have a lot of different communities sometimes you will find some communities who has got a school district inside the community like for example where my parents in law located at this community has a school which is the elementary school inside the community so that you know most of the people who is living in the community their kids can go to that so it means there's a good school there or if there's a school there there's a lot of family who was living in that community and most of their kids are going to that school which is i talked about before you know if you see people walking around and kids playing outside it means that community is really good all right so remember that one and the one that i said before if it's a walking distance to all amenities what do you mean by that so here in florida especially where i'm located at i talk about kagan crossing before if you want to know what that Kagan Crossing means or if you want to see this particular community the Kagan Crossing I will put some link here or here you know some small button there click that one and you will see what or what you can find in Kagan Crossing okay this particular Kagan Crossing community is so much good because they are close to everywhere they are close to walmart they are close to lowe's they are close to any kind of restaurant they are close to library you can just walk as soon as you get out of this kagan crossing community honestly this community i love this one is just because like you know all you need in life not in life all you need all all your necessity needs is just there around the corner when you get outside the community of this Kagan Crossing. That's another example or my last tip, you know, how to find a good neighborhood because sometimes when you find those four good neighborhood and then that neighborhood is miles away in all the amenities that you need like the supermarket, grocery store, hospital, library, restaurant, you know, all that stuff that you need for everyday life, you know, it will be hard for you especially if you don't drive as you know when you live here in florida you will need a car everywhere everywhere you go you need like a car you know once you live here in florida because as you know all the amenities here or all the places here are not close to each other they are not miles 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 away but you know if you want to go to one place you need a car to get there or you can take an uber and then once you finish on that one and you want to go to other place obviously it's not gonna be like the same distance you have to travel again so it's better to have a car so which means like if that community is far from what you need for your everyday life like the food medicine school and all that stuff it will be struggle for you especially if you don't drive all right so that's the video for today guys i hope this is helpful and useful and i hope you found this value if you watch this video until this end comment down below neighborhood so i could see how many people who watch this video until this end and i really 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 appreciate your time watching my video until this end i know i'm talking too much right 
but you know I'm trying to help everyone what can you see or what can you do here in Florida especially here in Central Florida or my place here in South Claremont so if you want more information if you want to see more about good neighborhoods as you know I'm specializing in new community or new construction so I have like five different new community which is a new construction once you see that new community and I'm sure you will like it as my client does when I tour them here in different kind of community here in Central Florida where I'm located at specifically in South Claremont or Lake County also I have like different places not just here but in some places like Polk County and Osceola County so I cover those area and if you want to know more my email address will be down here you could email me and also you could text me my cell phone number you will find down here and you could just text me if you don't like emailing like myself all right once again thank you for watching this video until this end and I'll talk to you on my next video peace so if you were looking for the five signs how to find a good neighborhood make sure what I'm gonna say I forgot <laughs> uh, oh I remember now let's do it again part two